Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Flame by Fire Cordhole. This is a bag that, that Fire designed for, and I think with, Matt Guy, Jamie Graham. It's a bag they kind of created for them to play with. And when you have the two greatest players in Cornhole come together to create a bag, I take notice. I think you should too. Uh, now, I will say, I actually did this whole review, had it ready to go, and then I watched Matt Guy throw this bag last night, and I realized I had misunderstood this bag. I did the review wrong, so I, I, I'm going back, redoing this part of me talking here. I didn't have time to go back and redo the throwing. Uh, I don't know if that'll matter as much. I mean, I, I I didn't throw it like I think it's designed to, and I'll explain the playability on that, and I'll explain all the I'll explain the mistakes I made, and really explain I think how this bag was designed to be thrown. But let's go ahead and dive into this review. We'll start with the materials on this. Slow side on this is the Surefire Slow Side, same slow slow side you find on the Fire Assault and the Fire Vengeance. It's a five speed material. It's very controllable, but it's playable. You know, it's a it's a it's a popular material because of the the versatility you have. You do a lot of things with it. Uh, it it's it's great in normal dry conditions. You know, normal speed to fast speed boards. It it the problem it comes to, to is when you get boards that sticky and damp for humidity. When you get that moisture on the boards, this material becomes unplayable. Other than that, it plays in all conditions. You can do a lot with it. It's a great material, and and that's why a lot of companies use it. Fast side. This is fast side is the slow side of the fire incinerator. It's the slide right material. It's the slow side of the all slides. It is a seven speed material. It is fast, but still controllable. Very hole friendly. So we're looking at a five, a seven speed bag. Template wise, this is a medium template bag. Uh, you know, it's a, it's kind of that six by six square in there. It falls right down the middle. It is a, it is, it is a medium full medium. It's on the fullness side of medium. You, you've got some flop, but it's not, a, it's not a very floppy bag. It's still got a, a decent amount of fill in there, which gives you a nice, you, nice hand fill. You can really, got, you got some, some fill to grab a hold of, get a really nice grip on it. I really like the, 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 the amount of fill that's in there for, for this bag and what it's for. It is, it is mostly a flat disc fill. It may be a hundred percent. I can't tell if they're not, there may be some, some some lighter, bigger beads there just for filler to give it a fuller feeling. I can't really tell for sure. But if it's not 100% flat disc, it's mostly flat disc fill. Gives the bag a very soft landing. It, it doesn't, it takes some of the kick out of this material by putting that disc fill in here. Bag runs straighter, chore up the board for you. Um, and let's go ahead and dive, let's go ahead and jump into the playability. I think you're all here for it right, and the playability. And, and so uh, this is, when I first, I'm going to tell you what I interpret this bag to be first and then i'll explain to you the mistake i made here in a moment i get this bag i played like you traditionally would right i played mostly slow side i threw this you know 90 percent of the time on the slow side 95 percent slow side i would flip it on the fast and only when i was trying to collect or push through and this material is very controllable very versatile you know you, you can you can throw blockers up there you can run bags in the hole with it uh, the downside is i mentioned the humidity and how it does play there but the, there's a two other issues you get with this material is it tends to want to kick if you're not going to fly back it's going to kick now you put this flat disc fill in here, you take some of that kick out. It's still there. So if you're not throwing a flat bag, you're gonna have some kick. You can still play the kick if you're consistent with your with your with your angle of your bag. You can play the good kick. You, it, it kicks very consistently. The other issue is this material wants to hang on the hole. And when you add this flat disc fill in here, it really uh, makes that hole it really it really causes the bag to hang even more, right? Because because this flat disc has a tendency to want to hang on the hole, right? It wants to compact, wants to sit, wants to settle. It doesn't want to cascade and melt like a B fill does. So you combine that with the material that wants to hang on the hole. And I really felt like I was having issues with bags hanging on the hole. You know, th this bag is great for like, a control bag. I could throw blockers, I put blocker I want to. And if it's a full enough, you could collect. So if I have a blocker up there, I would throw my second bag or my next bag, slick side to go to collect. And I could clip the corner and I would take the bag and spin it and my push bag would fall in and this bag would just be left hanging there. And so I found I had to really be more intentional going to collect, I had to come more to the middle and almost push this back all the way in if I wanted to collect. I couldn't clip it and, and let the back fall on its own. It didn't always do that. Or if I had a bag on the back or the, or the back corner or the back edge, I was having bags hanging there and they were really tough to get. And I was getting pretty frustrated with this bag. I was like, man, this is this bag is just making me want to work. I have to be very precise with this bag to get it in the hole. I can't, it's not, it's not making, it's not making up for my mistakes, right? If I made a mistake, it, it's, it's, if I missed it, it's because I missed. But some bags are very forgiving and I can miss and, you know, I can I could throw my collect bag a little off, clip a corner and both bags still go like the bag will kind of make up for that mistake for me. And these bags weren't. And so I, I was I felt like I was I wasn't really punishing me, so, so to speak, but I, I wasn't getting the advantages you get of some bags. And I, again, I was frustrated. I got in the review. I'm like, man, I just don't understand this bag. Also, this bag is very similar to the assault. If I went back and watched my review on the assault and was, it, was, it was an awful review. I, I got some things wrong there. I probably need to go back and redo that at some point in time. But the assault, the fast side, I got that wrong in the review I did. The fast side of the assault is actually the pro advantage viking fast side material which is also a seven suit material it, it's not the same material as this but it's very similar they have a lot of characteristics they play a lot of like um in fact the assaults 
it's like a little bit softer material. I kind of like that material better. If I was looking for a five seven speed bag, I think I would rather have that assault fast side than this. The assault has a little more of a bead fill in there, so you get a little more. You take that whole hanging problem that I have when you add a bead fill, you 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 help alleviate some of that, so it doesn't hang as much. I'm like, I'd rather throw the assault than throw this. I didn't really know where this bag fit into the lineup. I was a little confused by this bag. And I, I did a review. I, I said all that. I was like, man, I just don't know how. I just don't think I can recommend this back. And then I watched Matt Guy throw this back last night. And I realized I did this review completely wrong. I was, I, I just didn't understand the back. What Matt Guy was doing is he was taking this back and he was using this fast side and throwing it 90, 95, 99 percent of the time fast side down. He was just running his back in the hole. And then he would flip it to the slow side, the stick side, whenever he wanted to, you know, throw a back block. Just put a bag on the board. You know, if if, the, if there's a bunch of bags around the hole and he had his last bag and he didn't want to knock anything in, he would flip it over sticky side just to put a bag on the board to stay. If he wanted to throw an intentional block, he would flip it over. But most of the time, he's going slick side. And 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 so then I put my boards. I was like, I gotta try this. So I went outside, threw my boards out in front of my house real quick, and started throwing it that way. And I was like, this bag plays awesome. It's completely different. It changes the way the bag plays when you're throwing with this fast side down. And honestly, the fast side of this bag is the slow side of a lot of fast bags. So if you're a fast bag player, you're used to this material. You're used to throwing this speed. This seven speed is kind of where fast bag players tend to throw on the slow side. So you sure I started throwing that, and, and there's if the bag was more hole friendly. The bag was running. You know, was, was I wasn't having issues of bag staying on the hole. The, the bag didn't kick like it like it did on the slow side. I was like, man, this becomes a better playing bag. And then, you know, again, you flip it over. If you want to play a controlled shot here and there, you flip it and use the slow side. Now, someone like Jamie Graham, who's a very precise player, he can play this bag more traditionally because he is, you know, he can he can put that bag exactly where he wants to. He's not missing like I miss from time to time. You know, he's, I, you know, I, I'm aiming for a spot and I may miss it by a few inches once or the other. Jamie Graham is putting the bag exactly where he wants to every time. So he has that precision. So he's not... He's not having the issues I was having playing this down. Plus, this bag, honestly, with this material on here and, and, and the forms of it, it's a bag that you can control. You can you can cut shots with it. You can you can roll it. You can flop it. You can do all the shot shaping that you want to do with with if you want to play kind of the dirty style game. So long, Jimmy Graham can play a dirty style game. Can throw those roll bags when he needs to. And then Matt Guy takes it and plays it. This fast side is the prop, the predominant side he's throwing all the time. And I think that's where this bag's gonna shine for most players. If you're a fast bag player. And you're looking for a bag that you can play a little more control game, or you can you can you can play a little dirty style game every now and then. I think the flames what you're looking for, because you can still throw this fast side like you normally would, and then just flip it over on the occasional time you want to put a, a, a bag on the board, stick a bag, a blocker up there, whatever. You can do that, and then flip it over. You can collect it for sure with this as you want to. And, and, and that's where when, once I saw that and realized that, I realized I saw where the bag fit into Fire's lineup. That it, this is a bag that fits in their lineup, and it's it's a need. I think I think this is a bag that not every player is going to want. But there are players out there that are going to want this back and are going to love this back. And, and and so I once I started doing that, I saw Matt Guy, I went out and threw it. I was like, I got to redo this part of the video because I completely missed this review. I was wrong with it. And I, I'm glad I didn't hadn't posted it yet. I'm glad I had time to re, re-record this and get this corrected. Again, I didn't have time to record the throwing. So what I'm throwing the videos here is I'm throwing primarily the sticky side down and then just doing the fast side to collect. So if you see bags kind of sticking, bags not collecting, bags hanging, that's more because I wasn't understanding how the bag would be played. If I need to, I can go, if you want to, drop a comment down below. I can go back and re-record the throw and read the whole video if I need to. I hope I explained it well to you. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment down below um, if I wasn't clear on this. But but I do think there's a need, and if you're a fast bag thrower looking for a bag that has a control side from time to time, the flame is what you're looking for. Check them out. Uh, availability on this fire cornhole does a great job of keeping bags in stock keeping them available and keeping them at a great price they have a website firecornhole.com uh, the five the flames when they first were dropped they were hard to get they, they, they were just they were selling out after they put a put a, they put some on, in stock they're now available i went on there i think pretty much all the colorways were available and they had five or six or seven different colorways on there were available uh they're 75 dollars retail normally but they had them on sale as of when i did this recording on for 70 bucks and fire always runs sales so you know follow the social media keep an eye out when they're running sales they're running you know 10 percent off here 20 percent off there towards the end of the season they do them half off i think when they got inventory stock they're trying to just move out of the way so they're always got sales they got great prices even at that even if you're paying the 70 75 dollars for this bag it's it's much cheaper than the 120 140 150 180 dollars you pay for some other bags out there and you're getting a high quality bag for that price so i definitely i recommend fire to a lot of players and they ask me for bags because like if you're if you're not sure what you want to throw don't go spend 150 bucks for a set of bags till you know what bag you're looking for go buy a set of fire bags because they're affordable 
and they're great bags and you can use them as you're starting out as well as through as you get better you know i mean the two greatest players at cornhole matt guy and jay Green, throw fire bags if they can throw them and succeed with them any of us can do that as well so definitely check out fire um, firecornhole.com i thank you guys so much for support and thank you for watching